quite a large pickups video because what we're going to be mixing is our recent pickups from Nurg and our recent pickups from the last couple of months which have been quite uh, hmm. we've been quite lucky in the last few months so let's start what we'll do we'll start with some uh, some cups yes then we'll move on to very software software hardware and then a big thing and I'm not talking about anyway okay let's start with the uh, yes as you know each year Nerg do a nice cup this is last year's 2014 which is now done a year of service and can be honorably retired <laughs> Retired because we now have the 2015 back to the Nerg mug, which is difficult to show because oh yeah, oh, there we go. It's got tea in it. Back to the Nerg 2015. Yay! Uh, this cup features in my actual Nerg uh, video in the introduction. If you haven't seen uh, my video covering the event. Links below, links below, or oh, I'll put a card up here and you can go and have a look, should you desire. Let's have a nice drink of this lovely tea. Mm. Mm. Also, fresh out the sink. It's still wet. There's another cup I picked up at Nerg. Tea, Earl Grey Hot. Replicator control. There we go. I actually got a third mug, uh, but... <sighs> I've left that at work because I've been to work since doing since doing all these pickups. So, bugger, I forgot it. But that can go there. So next, what are we going to look at? We're going to look at stuff that's hanging up. Right, t-shirts. Okay, first one uh -oh. is this, which you'll see in the intro to my other video. I'm going to have to scroll this past. There we go. It's quite big. <laughs> yes, an old school t-shirt with the Atari joystick in the middle there. Excrement. Excellent. I mean, excellent. Uh, that's number one. Number two. These are talked about in the Nerd video where we look at the concession stand where we found them. Uh, Docky Brown Enterprises Time Travelling DeLorean uses only 1.21 gigawatts, works at 88 miles an hour, powered by the revolutionary flux capacitor. Nice t shirt. <laughs> and number three, which your mathematical type people may get, everybody else. Ah, just messing with my lens cap there, it's sort of balancing a little bit. Okay, the uh, rest of you. I have to try and work this out. In the comments below if you can work that out. Yeah. <laughs> Why does this daft little laugh come from? I have no idea. Uh, wifey found me that one and bought it for me before I'd even noticed she was doing such. Uh, so, right. Three nice t-shirts. Next, let's have a look at the handhelds. Because I think I've just doubled the size of my Nintendo. Uh, Game Boy collection uh, with stuff that Fluffy bought at Nurg. Starting with Asteroids and Missile Command. Excellent for two pounds. Next we have Star Wars and I've had a quick go at this and it's just like the, uh, the version you get on the consoles at the time. So that's quite good. Let's get more light here. There we go. So that's quite good. Which reminds me, this is the new camera, so you'll be seeing it slightly wider and much better lighting because it's much bigger lens on this thing. Uh, right, we have a Wave Race on the Nintendo Game Boy. Just for your delectation and delight. Hey, stop it with that daft laugh. Christ, that's only appeared this morning. We have Top Gun, which is, yeah, I've had a quick go of this. Um... Let's just hide that over there. Let's just say the label's the best part of it. Uh, and we have Galaga and Galaxion. And as I only have two other games for this uh, machine, I now have a third. It's Blue Lightning on the Lynx. 
We did actually look at about four games for this, but the bill was quickly going past 20 odd quid, so uh, nah. I'll just get this one for now. It's the first time I've actually seen Lynx games out in the wild. Talking of Lynx, oh, I have actually forgotten to bring one of the cartridges over because it's still in the machine. I wonder if the clicking noises will give it away. But here's one I couldn't resist because I've seen. James Rolfe, the Nintendo nerd, play with this so much. It is Top Gun for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And yes, I have a Gliders Pirates license, I've flown combat simulators, and I can't land it on there yet. Hmm. Well, I've seen a tutorial video, so I might try it again after watching that. Okay, so that's the. Uh, next. We have Daz Mania on the Genesis, or Mega Drive as it is properly. That's definitely debate. But yes, Taz have sort of gone on the Taz Fest for some reason. You'll see why. See more in a moment on that. Uh, one that we won in a raffle uh, CJ in the USA on the Commodore 64128 from Codemasters. 90% from uh, a crush smash. Never heard of that. New release. Not anymore, buddy. What year is this? Quick newsy. Probably doesn't say. Yeah, no. But I actually uh, won. Uh, ow! My nose! I actually won uh, Ghosts and Goblins as well for the uh, Spectrum, but I gave that to Neil who was drooling over it. Uh, because he's given us so much stuff as well. So there we go. Right, uh, sticking with the Mega Drive. Mega Drive. Oh, you can hear one that's bad. Uh, we've got Mortal Kombat. This is a local pickup because uh, Wifey. Was it local? No, this is from Nerg. Uh, wifey already had the case, but no cartridge. So there we go. And yes, it's a bit better, but we're not too bothered about the uh, case as long as the game's in there and it works. And on the Taz Fest, Taz, an escape from Mars. I just could not resist this at all, just looking at the, uh, the cover. It was, yeah, unresistible. Let's uh, just quickly, there we go. Let's take it out and see what's in there. As it wrapped up, I uh, possibly assume that it's all there. Yes, it's all there. Excrement. Right. So that's my Taz Fest. Uh, not quite over. Because we've done something we haven't done in many, many years. And that is to buy Sega Master System games. Yep, I haven't bought one of these in a good six, seven years. Uh, Chuck Rock, which I've played on the Amiga. I am not expecting this to be anywhere as good as the Amiga version. Get away, lamp. Uh, but, yes, so that'd be interesting to play and put on the channel. Looks quite good, and somebody's, somebody's drilling something somewhere nearby. I've got the window open, so. And the last of the Taz things, I promise you, is Tasmania. On the Sega Master System. Lovely artwork once again. Action, apparently. Action! Just in case you thought it wasn't action and it was some boring. When you wanted to go and buy a boring game, it warns you that this is not a boring game, this is action, so this is probably not the game for you in those circumstances. Or something like that. Uh, okay! And we also have. For the Sega Saturn, couldn't resist when I saw it. Independence Day, yes, right, yes. Um. Okay, discs there. Uh, manual is uh, not. Uh, but there we go. So it's got some shooty flighty things. Uh, more shooty flighty things. Uh, hmm. 
it looks like it's uh, yeah yeah it's just the flight section of it perhaps we'll have a look at that in a review at some point okie dokie let's go on to the hardware well let's not go on to the hardware because what have you picked up Final Fantasy X2 for Wi-Fi to play so there you go all right now we can go on to the hardware and we have whoosh whoosh oh, that's what Neil sent me what don't discount that one whoosh 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 all boxed obviously all full pre-formatted for the IBM 1.44 uh, mega drive, uh, megabyte, mega drive, megabyte, uh, floppies, and says uh, 50 of them there, three pound from a house clearance place. They are well worth a visit because some of them stock nice odd computers, and we found some of these places. Would you imagine? What's got on them? You can never have too many of them, but it fits in the screen better that way. When I got this for three quid, was it two? I think it was two actually. And um, when we got it home, it played pretty badly. Uh, so I cleaned the heads, and now it plays pretty goodly. Uh, only problem is, rewind is a bit weak. Fast forward does not stick down for some reason. Uh, but other than that, it actually works. So. Yep, never have too many tape drives like this, external ones. Yay, that's my second one. Yeah. Um, something that was uh, we saw boxed at Nerg for £40, we got at a local game shop in Chesley Street for £8. Yes, I've always wanted one of these. These are great. Never got around to buying one. So, yep, arcade stick for the Mega Drive. Not in perfect condition, but it works. And I can play games like this. Yeah, Mega Fire, Mega Fire, Mega Fire, speed me, yeah, start. Ooh. So, there we go, eight pounds. That's a saving of 32 pounds over a box one. Yes, good. And last, well, last up here, but not least, uh, is Something I probably I'm going to have to raise the camera for. Hang on. Even despite its white screen, it's still going to have trouble seeing this. So let's have a look. Ta da! Whoop. Yeah, it's still not all in. Hang on. I'll be right back. This, my friends, is the Mag the Menacer for the Sega Mega Drive. It is not actually this fat list. This small, you know, that would be a very small machine. It is this big. There we go. It's just distance from the camera. Optical illusion. Optical illusion. Anyway, uh, yes, this is the Sega Menacer. We all know about the Super Scope for the NES, which I was going to buy. Uh, but uh, not as much so many people know about the Menacer because it wasn't as popular because uh, of limited support. But there are some games. Uh, that are supported that I want to play and I'm going to do a review of if this works, which it should work fine. Uh, it isn't actually in this box, it is over there set up. But I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you. But I am going to show you. It's, uh, oh yeah, it does come with six games in a cartridge thingy. So, you do get some packed in. Apparently these are of varying quality, but it also works with Terminator 2, Terminator 2, so that is probably worth buying this in the modern day alone, just for that. So, let's go downstairs and look at the last hardware pickup. Right, the uh, last of my pickups is slightly older than the others. No, it's not fluffy. It is this guy! Hmm? Cheeky. Thank you. You're older than me. Yeah. I was on about that. Yeah, of course you were. Mm-hmm. 
you've got a glow behind you because of the big window there you go yes it is this a 1951 excuse me we've got a, a suitably styled here doily which we got bought just for this his master's voice a gramophone console so this has uh, the radio and inside here a few extra bits in at the moment because uh, I've got some work to do on it is the gramophone itself now this has been it wasn't tested by the uh, house cleaning place we got went to because you know, these this is a valve system is it five or three valves um do, do, do. yeah it's five valve console and valve systems have a bad habit after they've not been used for decades of catching fire so they've never tested it uh, we have tested it after cleaning it <laughs> very gingerly tested it and it does work the radio does work uh, we've got some new bulbs here because the uh, light bulbs have blown so some new ones being delivered and uh, the motors do run but this won't turn because there's a spring oops it started activating there there was a spring that's dropped out the mechanism so I'm going to be repairing that in a video I'll see if we can repair it and finish cleaning it so that's the last of pickups uh, this is £20 untested which is nice because it works <laughs> so because I've been after a gramophone for ages it's got loads of 78s plus it plays music rather loudly normal music so, we'll be getting fixing that soon. So that's a, a rather lot of pickups this time. And Fluffy's concentrating on my reading there. So, thank you all very much. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thumbs up because it does help. And my social media links are down below. Uncle! Hi! Uh -huh. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. Ha <laughs>